Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we're going to start out by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're up 0.14% uh, and we are still trading in between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average. This uh, the uh, space in between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average is narrowing up. So we will see a movement at some point to the upside or to the downside. It is quite mixed at the moment where technically we'll go. It will depend on several factors, uh, the state of the British economy, the coronavirus, um, the US dollar index, and, and so on and so on. Uh, long run, I am, um, I am bearish for this market, not very bullish due to the fact that the British economy has a lot of troubles and on in the long run and with Brexit, with Corona, and the British economy as a whole. So... I am favoring the downside. However, we have to look at the technical indicators in order to determine where technically will go. However, they are quite mixed. If you look at the MACD, it is quite flat. If you look at the RSI, you're basically in technically flat. The same goes for the CCI. The stochastic is pointed to uh, higher uh, levels or the momentum is to the upside. And the bullish bet, we're technically right in the middle. So. Entering this market is pure gamble. We need a break uh, you know, above the 50 moving average and in order to determine that we are going higher. We'll first have to check this level here at uh, 1307 before we go to these highs. A break below the 100 moving average opens the door to the 300 moving average, the 150 and the 200 moving average. So there's a lot of support underneath. So I don't expect major movements. We have seen uh, some major movements in the recent days, but we are still stuck in between these two uh, moving averages. So if you look at a US dollar yen, we did rally earlier today, then broke down, and now we're trading underneath a 50 moving average. There's just a lot, a ton of resistance above at this point. We're still trading within this channel, and at any point, I do believe that we are going to see lower levels. Um, that could happen any time. And when we basically break this level up to 105, that is a good indication that we are going to go towards this lower uh, support uh, trend line. If you look at technical indicators, MACD is flat, the RSI is pointed to lower levels, and the CCI is pointed to, to higher levels, So, and the stochastic is pointed to, uh, to higher levels or, or momentum to the upside. And same goes for the Bollinger Bands. But we need cl clarification. We need to break this level in order to determine whether or not we are going to uh, trend towards this uh, to support uh, trend line. Uh, there is just too much resistance above. I don't expect this to break, uh, uh, break through these uh, moving averages and this trend line anytime soon. We have tried several times. We have failed every single time. So if you look at the euro, US dollar, we need to get rid of most of this here. We have broken through. We are up 0.49% uh, today. And at the moment, we are trading at around 11.83. And at this point, we are running into previous uh, resistance here. And uh, if we can manage to break above this level here, that is a, a major move to the upside. Uh, after that, we will go to uh, 1191 and then to the highest here of uh, uh, 1200. So around there. So 01. So this is a really encouraging sign for the uh, euro US dollar. This means that we most likely will see higher levels. However, we will find massive resistance when we get to these higher levels here. Just have that in mind. So if you look at technical indicators, MACD is just crossing the signal line. RSI is pointing to higher levels. The same goes for the CCI. This is a really bullish uh, sign here this, this, um, this, um, on this histogram. 
And the same goes for the stochastic, it's pointing to higher levels, and the same goes in the Bollinger Band, we are basically touching the uh, top of the Bollinger Band. So we may see a pullback from here. However, tomorrow, if we have a green candlestick above the 50 moving average, that is a very encouraging sign that we are going to go higher with this uh, currency pair. Um, no interest at the moment to basically short this uh, pull back towards the 50 moving average if that is support now then that is a good sign that this will go higher if you us dollar and um, aussie dollar us dollar we can see that we have broken down we are trading in between the 50 moving average at uh, at 0 0.72 and 0 0.69 and at this moment we are testing these previous lows if you manage to break through, through those, we'll go to the 150 moving average. If that breaks, then we'll go all the way down to the 300 moving average and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators for the, this pair are very uh, bearish at this point. You can see the MACD is tra trending way under the uh, signal line. The, we are almost oversold at this point. Uh, the CCI is looking really uh, negative. And same goes for the stochastic. We may see a pullback. We have pulled back a little bit, but at this point, I do believe that we'll go all the way towards 0 0.70 before we go higher. Uh, if we go higher, then we, of course, have these moving averages here, which will be um, resistant, and, of course, the 50 moving average, which will be major resistant. If you look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have... Uh, done exactly what we expected yesterday. We had a really uh, negative candle from the yesterday's session, and today we have broken down quite significantly, 0.28%. Uh, at this point, we are finding resistant at this area here, which was previous also resistant. I do believe it's just a matter of time before this breaks, and these lower uh, resistant uh, support areas here also break, and then we'll trend uh, towards this uh, support uh, support line here. Uh, no interest in basically buying this. This is a market that is going to go lower. We can see every single time we have tried to rally, we find resistance above and then we are broken down. And at this point, it is just a matter of time when, until we go uh, further. Technical indicators are, well, fairly bearish at the moment. Uh, MACD is trading underneath the signal line. There's no indication that it's going to turn around. We are not overbought yet, but we are uh, are getting there. We are at 37, and the CCI is looking really uh, negative. Uh, the same goes for the stochastic. It has turned around completely, crossing the signal line, indicating uh, bearish uh, momentum. If you look at the Bollinger Band, we will most likely go towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band. At this point, it's 1307. That is most likely our first target before we uh, pull back that was also previous support uh, down here so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing by clicking this button down here in the corner hitting the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos thank you and good luck